All right, guys, so what you just saw there were children playing in bouncy houses doing an event involving the uh, freedom truckers in Ottawa, Canada. Right now, that is contrary to the image that the mainstream liberal media and C Canadian media particularly is trying to uh, paint of this uh, freedom uh, protest, right, from the freedom truckers, okay? Uh, they're using all kinds of smears, right? They're pulling out everything. I mean, the CBC, uh, the Canadian broadcasting company, has even uh, accused Russia of being behind the uh, freedom protest. Take a look. I do ask that because, uh, you know, given Canada's support of Ukraine in this current crisis with Russia, it, I don't know if it's far-fetched to ask, but, but there is concern that Russian actors could be continuing to fuel things uh, as, this, as this protest grows, but perhaps even instigating it from, from the outset. Yeah, so that is a sign of desperation, okay? It, it really is, okay? When you have to invoke Russia the same way that the American media does uh, anytime they want to smear Trump, um, yeah, it, it shows that you're desperate, right? You're grasping for straws. And I'm telling you, they have grasped for every straw that they can. And this latest smear uh, from the uh, mainstream liberal media uh, regarding this freedom protest uh, may be the last straw because a lot of people are getting fed up with some of the um, lies and exaggerations that are being put out there uh, by the mainstream liberal media regarding uh, this protest, okay? And, and that's not to say that there may not be some individuals who are doing bad things because most likely when you do have large-scale protests like this, uh, there are going to be bad actors, okay, that are going to try to spoil it for the rest of the bunch. And any acts of violence or criminal activity or anything like that should be condemned, but for the most part, the, the few reports out there of bad behavior, uh, it's a lot of he said, she said, and it's not like we have images of large scale violence or neighborhoods being destroyed or anything like that. Things that we've seen in, in the past. OK, and I'm going to get more into that later in this video. However, I, I, right now I want to talk about the latest smear. OK, that is really pissing a lot of people off, especially the real men that are participating in this event, right? The dads, the fathers, okay, that have brought their children with them uh, to this protest because uh, real men, <laughs> real dads, they take care of their kids, right? They take care of their kids. And uh, the latest smear is basically implying that these children are in danger from being with their dads during these protests, okay? Because Lord forbid, right, a, a man take care of his kids, right? Lord forbid, okay, according to the mainstream liberal media and the woke mob, they don't like seeing men actually take care of their kids, okay? That, 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 they don't like seeing that, right? They don't want that, okay? Um, and this smear right here, uh, again, is the last straw for some of these fathers uh, that are participating in this protest as uh, there's a video of uh, one guy confronting a CBC reporter on the fact that his outlet is implying that his children are in danger from being with him at this protest. Take a look. Did you hear the statement I hear that what I you yeah. said? So, yeah. so, you're so saying, that's what I'm curious. So you're like, saying that my teenagers are threatened for being in Ottawa. Is that well, what you're telling I mean, me? Answer, you, answer you my heard, question. You heard the statement We've all I'm answered right. questions. You answer mine. Well, are my children work, in danger for from... Children society. Are, 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 are my uh, children uh, in danger uh, for being uh, in Ottawa? Well, it, it sounds, from what my understanding of the Children's Aid Society, and they... Are my children in danger for being in Ottawa right now? Tell me yes what, or what, no. What do you mean by in danger? I, you tell me you're coming here trying to say that the children fact are that in the danger. Children aid are, is getting involved. You got the like inside scoop because you guys are the messenger for the devil. You tell me right now, are my kids in danger for being here? Should I send them on the first train out of town? Well, tell me now. It sounds like the Children Aid Society is saying that. So you're saying involved. that my kids are going to get hurt? I'm not saying anything. I don't. Oh, the I'm children saying is that they put out the statement and I'm looking for your reaction. So you, so you want? You're telling me now that I should be getting my kids out of town. Because no, I'm they're gonna get hurt. I'm not the OCP is gonna come in here and do what to my kids. What, to do. what are they gonna? All what? Because uh, you don't give a about, about nobody. All you care about is your no, paycheck. You sold your soul a long time ago. You sold your soul a long time ago, and you sold your soul a long time ago. You work for the devil. That's who you work for. That's who you work for. That's your boss. I'm here to talk about this thing. And I'm telling you, 
Are my kids in danger in this city right now? I don't know the future. Like, I don't know. I mean, all I can tell well, you is Well, then why like, are you coming here trying to act like I, you're, you're concerned about you. kids? I'm here to talk. I have two teenagers here that are in my car. Are they in danger? Yes or no? I don't... I don't... I don't... Yes I don't, or no? I don't know what the future brings. Yeah, I don't... Self, then. I'm right. telling you. Okay. All right. Uh, are, are, are you guys? Are you guys going to air this, or are you going to chop well, I, it all up? Yeah. So that's what happens when you mess with a <laughs> a man and his kids. Okay. When you out here telling people, reporting that, hey, you know, these truckers, these freedom truckers, uh, not only are they all this, that, and the other, you know, violent, all this other stuff that the mainstream liberal media is saying, but they're also putting their kids in danger, right? Because again, Lord forbid, a man take care of his kids. <laughs> Right, Lord forbid. Okay, and that's gonna piss people off, man. Pe people are not going to like that. You don't mess with a man and his kids. You don't uh, imply that a man is putting his kids in danger uh, without any real <laughs> evidence that uh, the kids are actually in danger. Implying that a man can't take care of his kids or his man, a man is being irresponsible with his children. When, again, I, I think the irresponsible thing would be to uh, leave them by themselves if nobody else can take care of them right that would be the irresponsible thing okay the responsible thing is to have them with them and to make sure they stay safe right which i'm pretty sure that's what that father is doing so i, I you know i don't blame him for being upset okay because all the smears from the mainstream liberal media man it, it's, it's absolutely amazing to see this stuff okay especially compared to what we've seen in the past that the mainstream liberal media has been okay with and this is especially true when it comes to the uh american media right as um them, along with a host of other outlets, uh, American and Canadian, are basically comparing the freedom truckers and their, their protests and what they're doing to an insurrection. Take a look. Sedition, insurrection, a threat to democracy. This city is under siege. They are now calling it an occupation. Alarming situation there in Ottawa. The police chief is calling it a nationwide insurrection driven by madness this is kind of our insurrection by air horn moment it's i think it's part of the globalization of trumpism canadians know where i stand there hasn't been as much violence as some had perhaps projected but that does not necessarily mean that it has been peaceful reports of severe vandalism and criminal behavior the streets are clogged the honking is incessant and deafening this pandemic has sucked for all canadians residents that i have spoken to who say they feel terrorized intimidated residents say they feel like hostages residents in that area say that they are being held hostage that this freedom has essentially this freedom convoy as they call it has essentially imposed a lockdown on them some protesters harassed a soup kitchen these anti-vaxxers actually took food from the mouths of uh, the homeless hum hungry yeah because they were they're, they're they're so put upon there have not been any violent outbursts however horns have been honking for 12 to 21 hours a night the small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing. Freedom Convoy. So-called Freedom Convoy of Truckers. It's a cult. <laughs> yes, it is. We've heard it called a nationwide insurrection. <laughs> a threat to democracy, uh, an insurrection, sedition. This is a moment for responsible leaders to think carefully about where they stand guys ain't it amazing right isn't that just incredible right isn't it incredible how the mainstream liberal media all of a sudden when it comes to these protests right all of a sudden you know this is violence okay this is the worst thing ever okay this is terrible right even though as you saw multiple times in that clip <laughs> um there's been accusations of violence and then they'll come out and say well we, we really haven't seen that much widespread violence but you know it's expected to be violent but, but we really haven't seen all that much right you, you see how that kind of goes okay that that's what happens when, when you're grasping for anything here when you're looking for things that uh for the most part aren't there again i'm not saying that there's no incidents at all i'm, I'm just saying um when you compare this, right, we're talking about violence. And when you compare this to what happened with BLM and the protests of 2020 and the mainstream liberal media coverage, it tells you everything you need to know about how dishonest our mainstream liberal media is, okay? Because there are literally images of neighborhoods burning, stores being looted. People have been killed, right? Killed. People have been attacked. Doing the BLM protests. And then this was done in the middle of the pandemic, by the way, as well, too. Okay? The mainstream liberal media turned a blind eye and said, no, no, no. 
it's fiery but peaceful, right? It is fiery but peaceful. They're overwhelmingly peaceful, okay? And again, you have images. Anybody can Google this stuff of stores burning, precincts burning, police stations burning, fires, riots, okay? But the mainstream liberal media, again, told us, tried to say, oh, no, no, it's justified. Not only is it justified, it's peaceful. But you have this protest right here where I can't find any images of any uh, cities burning, of any stores being looted. Okay, I, I, there's no reports of anybody uh, being shot and killed. Okay, I can't find any of that stuff. But for whatever reason, this is the most violent thing in the world. It's a cult, right? And the residents, the poor residents of Ottawa, okay, they're so bothered by the violence of the loud honks coming from these truckers, right? All the noise, okay? It's so bad for them, right? But what about all those people doing the BLM protests slash Antifa riots? that were that lost their stores the business owners that were on video crying crying because they lost their business the people that were on video crying because their neighborhoods uh got burned right stores in the neighborhood got looted we have plenty of that so so those people and their concerns and their hardships don't don't matter right that's not worth covering it's not worth talking about but some people saying that hey you know these people are loud Oh, man, it's the most violent thing ever, <laughs> right? Again, it, it tells you just how bad the mainstream liberal media is. And then people like Brian Seltzer wonder why people don't trust outlets like CNN and MSNBC. Because of the disparity in coverage, the overt bias that you're having when it comes to coverage, okay? It, it doesn't make sense. How in the world is this overtly violent, <laughs> Right? When the BLM protest was mostly peaceful. I, I, I don't understand, right? I, I really don't understand. I really don't get it. I don't get it. It's, it's one thing, okay, if you don't support what the truckers are doing, that's fine. You don't have to support what they're doing. I get it. I understand. But don't lie, okay, and exaggerate the truth, especially after basically in, endorsing what happened during the BLM and Antifa riots, right? That's what really pisses me off about this stuff. It just shows you, again, the overt bias. But you know what? It's cool to do this because this fits the narrative. Also, on top of that, this is seen as a protest of white males, right? This is a white male protest according to them. So it's open season to say whatever you want. Protests that are for so-called social justice. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are off limits. You can't say anything because, you know, a lot of those people that are protesting are black. So therefore, you might be called racist if you say anything, right? That, that That's all this comes down to. That's what it comes down to. Because I guarantee you, if a majority of those people out there were protesting for social justice, protesting about police brutality, they wouldn't say anything, be crickets, right? They could burn down cities, they could burn down neighborhoods, people could die. All types of stuff would happen in the mainstream liberal media would act like it is nothing, right? Don't worry about it, okay? And if you say anything about it, then you're a racist, sexist bigot, right? If you call out the violence. It's incredible, man. If the coverage of this freedom protest, these freedom cover, uh, truckers versus BLM from the mainstream liberal media, if that doesn't tell you the bias of the media to show that, hey, the mainstream liberal media really can't be trusted, I don't know what will, man. I really don't know what will, okay? Because all of a sudden, uh, nuance doesn't matter anymore when it comes to these freedom protesters, but nuance matter when it came to BLM. Oh, no, no, no. You may see some police stations burning, people getting killed. You know, stores being looted across the country. You might see a little bit of that, but it's overwhelmingly peaceful, right? In this case right here, you have a few incidents uh, that there's really no video evidence of, okay? No video evidence, no images, anything like that. It's really he said, she said, some police reports. And this is an overwhelmingly violent movement, right? It's absolutely insane. It is insane, okay? So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.